Hi. <laughs> Hello. So it's two weeks since we finished our 60 day juice fast yes. and we're feeling great. Things are going very well and we're back on track. So we're posting some videos. We've just posted some video I did on Christine and her mom. Yeah. She's got her mom eating healthy, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, and we just, we wanted to share something with all of you that we received today from a dear friend of ours, Kathy Million. Thank you for forwarding this. Um, Kathy Million is, uh, I'll just say healing from MS. And um, we received this information about what, where we're heading with the FDA and supplements. It's very important for everybody to pay attention to this. So I'm just gonna read some of it and then we'll put the link uh, on the right side here of our blog site so that you can click on it if you want to let Congress know that this is not okay. Um, basically what's happening is uh, on July 1st, the FDA issued a draft guidance for new dietary ingredients. They're known as NDIs. The FDA's new policy must be commented on by October 3rd 2011, which is next month, the entire natural products industry is facing a scenario should this NDI policy become enacted in which, and here's what will happen, only ingredients that are found in the typical food supply can be sold as supplements, limiting the number of products on the market. Every ingredient and even each supplement formula would require new dietary ingredient notification, creating longer lead times for product release. So far, the FDA has rejected 75 to 83% of all NDI notifications. Wow. Every um, NDIN, again, that's new dietary ingredients, uh, would require a significant amount of research, including toxicology for perfectly safe ingredients, which could cost millions of dollars and potentially limit, limit the product from ever being sold. Tests would also have to be performed on formulas that contain ingredients that have been in use for 50 years, potentially robbing consumers of the supplements they rely on. Each company would have to file its own NDI notification for the same ingredient every other company is also using. That's not fair. Each new formulation using the same old ingredients would require an NDIN. Wow. The NDIN process would take at least 75 days, but much longer in reality. Government is broke. We don't have the money for this criminally financial negligence. The FDA's mad scheme will drive most products off the shelf and most companies out of business. Um, and one of the companies that's mentioned here that uh, the person who, who is setting this around, she's a naturopath, um, is Jaro Formulas, and they're, they're a terrific company. We, we have, we use some of their stuff. Mm -hmm. So basically the FDA, um, as what they're saying in this letter is it hopes it will get its way and destroy the supplement industry. Um, I think the problem here, or the challenge here, is that supplements, we're discovering that supplements and vitamins are curing diseases, certainly helping cure disease. Right, and He's natural back foods. again, and natural foods. Of course, the combination of both is the best. Um, Hi, George. So the final thought here is, what they're saying is that the current NDI draft guidance, which is what this is called, would create a regulatory nightmare that if it had been in place 30 to 50 years ago, there would not even be vitamin B complex or vitamin C, D, or A unless the FDA wrote an exception and CoQ10 would never have been allowed. It gets worse. Did you know that Daniel Fabricant, PhD, the former number two and number one executive at the Natural Products Association, that's known as the NPA, formerly NNFA, was recruited by the FDA and is now their director of supplement programs. This once industry advocate is now working for the FDA to regulate dietary supplements off the shelf. Does this sound ethical to you? So there's a link here just sort of to write and put your name uh, on a letter to Congress suggesting that this not happen. And I think it's important that we so do this. So what does this mean exactly in layman's terms? In layman's terms, what it means is that the FDA is now going to step in and make it more difficult to get supplements and make it more costly for companies to uh, manufacture supplements that are already doing it 
that are already doing it because now they're going to have to um, abide by these new guidelines, these new rules of having to, ingredients that they already have in their supplements, they're now going to have to um, comply with being tested and long time and a lot of money. So even the ones that are already being sold now and mm -hmm. have been being sold for years, mm -hmm. they're going to have to go through this process now? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm. That's not good. So this is, uh, again, this is called uh, FDA's New Dietary Ingredient Guidelines. So do they say why they're doing this? Why, from the FDA's point of view, we don't yeah. know. And I would love somebody who hears this, who works with the FDA, to tell us why it's a good thing. Yeah, it doesn't seem like uh, it makes any sense at all. Not really. When, you know, as we know, supplements don't kill people. No. Medicine kills people. Well, well, that's yes. a tough statement, but... It's not a tough statement. It's actually a fact. Over 100,000 mm -hmm. people a year die from... Medications. Medications that were used properly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so... And the reason this came to us is because our friend Kathy Million, who hopefully will get her on a video blog with us, um, will not be able to have access to supplements that are, like, greatly helping her MS. Mm-hmm. Uh, because it'll be more difficult. And we had already heard about this, on an, and we shared this on another blog way early in our fast, about the Codex Alimentarius mm -hmm. and the different guidelines that will uh, begin to be put on uh, companies that are manufacturing supplements and vitamins. Right. So we had heard this already, and I think, Christine, you told me about it, and I don't know, for some reason I thought maybe we had time And then I just received this, so we're talking about a month later, here we It's go. It's happening fast. It's happening very fast. So, yeah, I mean, if you just Google Codex Alimentarius um, and ignore their website, which doesn't give you the real information. Ignore? Ignore the Codex Alimentarius website and just go to, like, YouTube and oh, watch the videos about Codex Alimentarius or just Google them and read the information. Mm -hmm. Um, that's out there. Uh, it's basically an organization that began many years ago, and they're trying to use the World Trade Organization to coerce uh, countries into complying with their guidelines. Um, on food on, as it moves around the world, On right? the food standards. On food standards. Which are not meant, I'll say they're not in the best interest of people's health, that's mm -hmm. for sure. And the codex is spelled how? C-O-D-E-X, mm -hmm. and Alimentarius is A-L-I-M-E-N-T-A-R-I-U-S. Yeah. I should have been in the spelling bee. And we, and we got the information about Codex Alimentarius from one of you out there who yeah. was listening to one of our blogs about food being irradiated as it crosses state lines, and right. we didn't know anything about it, and that's why doing a blog like this helps so yeah. much. It helps us all. So when we got that mm -hmm. information from one of you, we jumped on the internet and started researching right. it. And again, it's not about being negative or panicking. It's just sharing no. the information so that we can all just, um, you know, positive in a positive way, do something to take control of mm -hmm. our food and our supplements. So we're going to put, we'll, we will put the link to uh, how you can write to Congress. You know, the letter is already done for you. If you're interested, if not, don't worry about it. But yeah, uh, right. it'll be on the, on the side here, on the right side of the website. <laughs> And I Sorry. think there's more information when you go to that um, yeah. letter. Yeah, we just don't want the government controlling what, we've, what, we're, what we already have access to. Mm -hmm. And, you know, supplements that are helping people to heal yeah. from diseases yeah, that I, supposedly you don't heal from, but we know you do. I agree. Right. So as we close, got to tell you that our, our George, Georgie is, was just staring at the monitor on the camera He's staring. just now. He's staring at us now. Oh, here he comes. Hi, Hi George. Me. Good boy. Is it complete? We're complete. This is the spot where he likes to come and hang out. Okay, so that's our information for tonight. And, um, We're just going to keep pumping out the information and spreading uh, the stuff. And, and just know that whatever, when we bring anything to you guys out there, it's, it's information that 
we've done due diligence on or it's it's real because we have it you know it's mm -hmm. this is a real thing it's going to Congress it involves Congress um, so we're always going to try and uh, bring information that's valid that it's not just hearsay and it's not just our opinion mm -hmm. just know that we're trying to do that yep okay all righty good night thanks for watching